Here we are in Youngstown, Ohio. Lost my voice a little bit, so bear with me. I'm gonna be on the radio today. With my boy Tommy Reese for Outbreak Skateboards with me. As you can see now. Tommy! This is gonna be the most exciting skateboarding experience of our life. Rookery? Rookery. That's right. Broadcasting. Two hours. Talk about life, life, love. skateboarding, love, outbreak skateboarding. <laughs> Music in my voice, young sound, Alex. Bunch of BS. Yeah! Should be fun. Alright. Jesus is a friend of mine. 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 Music may sound different, but the message is the same. Oh, it's just time. an instrument to praise his name. Jesus is a friend. Jesus is a friend. Jesus is a friend. Oh, dude, it's, it's good to hear your voice, man. Yeah, I'm glad we finally get through it. I've been playing for the past half hour. And it was just ringing and ringing? Well, technical difficulties. Well, we're glad you called, man. We've got Tommy here. Yeah. Say hi, Tommy. You're new. I still haven't talked to you, man. It's mad. Only, only text. <laughs> I don't even have your number, Tommy. Yeah. We'll There's take care of that today. Lucky. So, Matt, we are trying to plan a tour for the spring or the summer? Uh, probably later summer. Later summer sounds good. Yeah. We are looking for... For skate parks? Oh, for sure. Yeah, that's a question Matt asked. Uh, on our tour, what Ohio skate parks should we do a stop at? There's so many. Yeah, there's Indoor, quite a few. outdoor. There's quite a few. I mean, anywhere around Columbus, there's at least a good six, seven skate parks right around and, there. And do we want to go indoor, outdoor? Uh, as long as the weather's good. I, I like outdoor, but indoor is cool too. All right. Alex is looking at us going, do this on your own time. No, I don't really care. No, I forget. <laughs> I've been researching a lot. There's a lot of uh, really good skate parks around Connecticut that I want us to go to uh, indoor and outdoor. Well, I'm coming to Connecticut for sure with Janet and Played Against Sports. It'll be my fifth year. So you're going to see me for that for sure. At the YMCA, maybe we'll do something there again. Yeah, that would be cool. I was, I was thinking uh, if it works out. Oh, that'd be cool. Come full circle. Yeah. Awesome. Especially if we can involve Janet again. The Played Against Sports Chain's been awesome for my skateboarding. They support a lot of my sponsors and they sell the boards. Do they carry the new decks there, Matt? Oh, well, they haven't gotten the limited edition ones yet, but they do have your uh, other series. Oh, good, good. We'll have to get them to do the, uh, the new one, man, the medallion, my new deck, which is a tribute to my mom. Really appreciate you giving me the shot to do that. Yeah, definitely. And she, she should be down. She's always down to set up herself. Coolness. I'll be filming too. Yeah, we need filmers. We need this whole thing filmed. Yeah, we're going to film. Because I, I, I plan on getting a lot, a lot of tricks yeah, Matt, that need to be filmed. Matt, Tommy is our guy. The guy too. <laughs> I'll skate he is anything. The skater. Yeah. Anything. Parking curb. Yeah. I'll skate it all day. I can agree with that. I'm happy to have him on board. That's that's like, you know, that's me messing around because I don't. I try to film myself, and that's kind of a sad situation. But uh, listen to me. You're being very <laughs> humble right now. But Tommy. if I could get, if I could get, yeah, if I get some well, something filming me. Just say that, uh, both Doug and Tommy, I've been skating 12 years, and they do stuff that I can't even do. Oh, oh man, man. Like that. Thanks, Dave. <laughs> yeah. It is that's the cycle. Funny. I've noticed that. Somebody will come up to me and be like, well, this guy can do this trick, and you can't. And I'll go, well, I can do this trick, then he can't. I mean, that's what's fun about skateboarding, you know. We all have our own moves to share and to trade. And I wish we could trade them. I would gladly trade tricks with... Uh... Matt, you had some moves. We skated last summer in uh, Connecticut. Yeah, definitely. A little flatland session. 
You know I try to learn some of them old school tricks. Yeah. I, th I, throw them, I throw them in at the Worcester Comp sometimes. Yeah. Tommy, <laughs> that's all I got's old school, man. I'll whip that out. It's so what? Good. Yeah, Matt's got some tech and moves. One thing I've noticed with my skateboarding to self-analyze a bit is anytime I do something I make up, especially if I use my hands or flip it around, people will be like, oh, that's old school. I'm like, well, you know, what is the definition of old school? It's the older tricks, but if it's something you made up, is that old? Is it new? I would consider old school probably using your hands, I think. It's probably well, see, I, I, think grew up, grab I grew up in a, a juggling family. So juggling pins, cigar boxes, and that's why I utilize my hands a lot in skateboarding, which I get some flack for, but you know, in the long run, it's how I stick out, it's how I express myself. So to a person who doesn't like it, too bad. <laughs> I'm being, I'm being, no, yeah, I'm being true to myself. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. We got a whole excitement at outbreakboards.com. Is there's a new yes. website in the works, perhaps? Yes, we we're actually uh, working on. That would be cool, dude. Uh, now the online shop is up and everything, and uh, it's going really good. Awesome. We need more footage on it. That's yeah, we're getting, we, we, we'll get some more footage, some more team news, be a little more interactive. The Facebook's good. Outbreak Facebook. That's growing every day, I see. Yeah, it's, uh, it's been keeping consistent. i got a team working it for me. Because so, uh, I'm always running around like they have to cut off. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we both are when we text. And how's your dad doing? Yeah, he's doing really good. Because he is part of this operation. Um, I remember last summer talking a lot with you too, and you guys started your roots in comic books, in art. Yeah, we. Uh, that, that's what we love. We grew up like watching films, comic books, uh, drawing. Like our uh, our whole family are artists. We've all had a love for it, so, and I've been skateboarding for most of my life, so, I got to put the two together. Yeah, thank goodness. Yeah. Well, I'm glad we crossed paths. I know I met you guys last summer, but I was trying to remember how I initially met you. Probably just maybe online or something. I just... Yeah, I think you uh, emailed us out of the blue. So. The rest is history. just finished that uh, uh, Landville Grand Opening. Uh, that's where I met Janet. Oh, that's right. And I saw the connection. You guys were selling the boards. And yeah. Awesome. Yeah, and then it's history after that. That's right, man. We are moving forward. We've got Tommy on board now. Yeah. Mira. Yeah, definitely. Uh, and actually, I, I might be adding another kid that lives in the same town as Mara. Oh, cool. And he's, a, he's a good friend of mine, and he shreds really hard. So that's a good too. Maybe we need some shredders. We need some shredders. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I intend to do. Building up the team just in time to go out to the store. I'm really excited about the store because we're trying to represent the East Coast. Yeah. That, that was our initial uh, connection, you and me, that we're both on the East Coast. And I've been on skate teams in the past on the West Coast. And there is a little bit of difference when you live here of mentality, of you know, our resources and how we grew up and how skateboarding is completely different in a lot of ways than the West Coast. They're summer, you know, year round, and we have a different set of circumstances. Even crappy, crappy sidewalks. Yeah, man, it's a different mentality. Yeah, you know, old, older stuff, older terrain. That's shredding us. That's, that's the stuff I like to watch oh, the yeah. most, man. Holly and ice blocks. <laughs> Anything. Uh, Riding on a couple stones. I don't mean to generalize uh, people in the West, but. Sure, but sure. Yeah, we have the hunger that, you know, I don't know, we've been through the adverse times and weather, and yeah. And you know, not only that, I remember growing up, we didn't have skateboard demos or contests. They were really rare. We're out west, they've got the skate camps, there's resources. The industry never really died in the west coast, whereas in the 90s it was completely oblivious. There was no skateboarding in the mid-90s. And now it's back, but we had that huge time, but we didn't have it. So now we're saying, hey, we're here. We're not going to let it die on this coast. Definitely. And, you know, not a lot of skaters become pro from the East Coast for the most part. 
Yeah. There's really like a small handful of like, you know, pros that come from here. Most of them are West Coast, you know. Yeah, and not only that, ones that come from here but stay here. Yeah, they, they end up moving out with us. Yeah, I, really just... I bought my house. I paid it off, so I'm planted here. I don't mind my slow life. I spent time out West, especially in San Diego, a considerable amount of time. It was really expensive. And even some of the skate parks, I, there were a lot of pay parks you had to pay. Um, yeah. Here, there's a, there's a lot more free parks. and I get more things done on this coast than the West Coast. Yeah, there's this really great skate park uh, here in Connecticut, Bristol. Ah, I've heard about that. It's just yeah. this summer, or it's brand new, right? Yeah, it's brand new. It's maybe like uh, two years old, but they spent about uh, $1.2 million on it. Uh, it's all concrete, and it's outside, and uh, it's right next to a public park. And, uh, nice, concrete. It's there's the way a lot of great skaters, and that's where Mars is from. Mars is from Bristol. Right. And the other prospect, they got Dustin, he lives in Bristol, too. And, um, like there's a lot of good skaters out there because you know it's, it's free and open to the public and everyone's skating there every day so sure these new skate parks are amazing because they have so much to offer for every level of skateboarders there's street there's ramp it's concrete it's not going to rust it's not going to break I don't know anything about Worcester yeah our local skate parks too. But it's still, you know, when the kids complain about the local parks, I say, well, what, you know, when I was a kid, I had nothing. Yeah, it's better than nothing. A real estate sign, duct tape, and some cement blocks. That was like our skate park. So. Sounds kind of like Worcester Park. Well, I mean, <laughs> Worcester is a little better. It's a Woodward built park. It's just three feet high, that's all. Yeah, everything's about three feet tall. But that's so, okay. so hopefully, Bristol and Connecticut will be on our uh, itinerary, perhaps. I, I would love to. Facebook the other day. Is it skate and destroy or, or skate and create? That's, I think it's both. It's it be a, yeah, it's a little bit of both. I mean, I don't mind chucking up a ledge here and there, but <laughs> or running from the cops. That's kind of fun. <laughs> yeah, I won't mind. I probably ran away from the cops more than I should. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we all have. I think it's like boot camp of skateboarding. You have to question authority and question why they're kicking us out of a place right. without being, you know, Evil and, yeah. It's uh, not, not many people who quote unquote uh, extreme sport have to deal with the kind of stuff that we do, like running around, right. you can't skate anywhere, you don't want to be at a park. You know, sure, yeah, and when you don't have a park, yeah, the, the downtown is the uh, skate park. It's unfortunate that like a bike or a scooter, nobody even pays attention to that. But if you go by on a skateboard, man, that cop is on you in two seconds. Get out of here. You can't skate here. The shop owner or whoever. Yeah, it's been a good afternoon. Weather's, is it sunny out? I don't know. It was a little cloudy. We're going to get some skating done in here. Well, not in here. <laughs> Youngstown. Connecticut's pretty horrible. Oh, is it? It's on its way here. Oh, it's raining at my house. So my mom says it's raining at my house. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll end up at Evolution or something. I would be down at Evolution. I wish you were here, Matt. We are taking, uh, excuse me, Tommy out to dinner to celebrate his sponsorship at oh, Red Lobster. And I, I want to be out there. We are, we are celebrating this evening. It's Friday night. We have to do like a part two celebration. Oh, for sure. For sure. That was very generous. Very generous of you guys. What? Our song loaded up? Yeah, I have music ready. We're getting the, the time thing on the hand, so. <laughs> yeah, we'll right. schedule. Well, it was good to talk to you, man. Yeah, it was good talking to both of you guys and, uh, and all of you. Uh, thanks for letting me come on. Talk. All right, man. Yeah, thanks. Catch up soon. Yeah, thanks for everything, man. I'm, I'm glad to be on the team finally.
I'll be doing a lot of skating. The world is my skate skate park. <laughs> so, so. All right, the man. world is my skate park. World is my skate park. Thanks, man. I'll see you. Thanks for calling. All right. Later, guys. Later. Survived for two hours with me. No crazy phone calls. Two hours with this Alex here in Youngstown. In the ghetto. Now we're going to fortunately no haters. No haters. That would have been fun. It would have been, been fun. 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 Our objective now is to find a place to eat Red Lobster to celebrate Tommy's welcome to Outbreak Board. And then uh, skate, hopefully. Somewhere indoor because it's raining out. So. Until next time. You just capture uh